Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. It's Labor Day in Minnesota, and it's a great time to see what's going on in a butterfly garden. So I thought I'd share with you how my plants are doing that take from the end of the summer into the beginning of fall. And so let's tour the garden and see what's going on in my garden today. So we'll start in this part of my garden. Over here, I've got some cosmos. They've been blooming all summer, so I keep deadheading once the flowers die. I cut them back and they keep reblooming. So that's a nice um, plant to put in your garden for all summer blooming. And then next to it, I've got this world milkweed. I planted this last year. If you look up above, I'll have a little link to my world milkweed video. But world milkweed's a monarch coast plant. It's super cool. And for the first time, it bloomed for me. So I'm excited to have some blooming world milkweed in my All garden. All right, so here I have another monarch host plant, the butterfly weed. In the summer, it has these really cool orange flowers. But this time of year, it starts creating all these seed pods. And these seed pods are coming along. They'll be ready to break open with all kinds of seeds in the next few weeks here. I actually have one that's already opened up, and inside are all these seeds. So I'm excited to grab some of these seeds and plant them in my garden for next year. So butterfly weed's a great uh, plant. Any butterfly gardener should have that in your garden. So I have a lot going on in this little corner of my garden. I plant petunias earlier in the year. They're a nice plant in that it gives you color and it's easy to deadhead them. You just kind of pick off some of the dead flowers every couple days and they keep reblooming all summer. I've also had some phlox plants here, a great butterfly attractor. They're getting to the end of their run here of blooming, but fun to have those blooming in late July and August. I've got a little bit of dill here for the black swallowtail host plant. Haven't had much action on it this year. Then in the background, I've got some zinnias, which again, a great annual. They're perfect for attracting butterflies from around the beginning of July right through to October. I've deadheaded them a few times, cutting off the flowers, letting them re-bloom. Uh, so zinnias is a great plant. All right, here I have my butterfly bush. I've deadheaded it a couple of times, cutting off the dead flower stems, letting it rebloom. It's rebloomed a few times, but it's coming near the end. And then over here I have my Joe Pied weed. So this is my second year. The first year I got blooming on it. It had a really great August, but again, it's coming to the end of its cycle. So my Joe Pye weed's just about done for the year. All right, so this is the part of my garden. I put a little fence around it to keep the rabbits out so they wouldn't eat all my parsley family of plants, the host plant for the black swallowtail. So inside I have some rue, I have parsley, I've got carrots. And then this big plant is fennel. It's gone crazy this year. I just planted it earlier this spring and I'm about six feet tall. This is almost as tall as I am. It's probably five and a half feet tall. And I haven't gotten black swallowtail caterpillars on it, unfortunately, but I'm getting, it's starting to bloom. I've got all kinds of honeybees working its way around the fennel. And fennel will just take off if you let it go. So it probably makes sense uh, to cut it back once in a while if you wanna use it for in, in your kitchen. But I think for me, I just want it to bloom. I want it to have, be a great host plant for black swallowtail, so I've kind of let it go. Isn't it impressive? So this is my sedum area. So sedums are great because they're just starting to come into bloom around Labor Day, and then they'll bloom through September and October. The last few years, rabbits have gotten to my sedums, but this year I've got them fenced in and they're starting to bloom and they're super beautiful and they are a great butterfly attractor. So I'm pumped to have my sedums back in the game. All right, here I've got some common milkweed. Common milkweed blooms earlier in the summer. My primary host plant I have for the monarch. This time of year, it's all about the seed pods and they're green at this time of year probably wait another month, month and a half before they turn golden, and then they'll be ready to open up and let common milkweed seeds uh, get out and blow away and hopefully plant across this area. So this is my zinnia part of my garden. I get more butterflies here than any other part of my garden. 
It's been in bloom since July. I deadhead the flowers when they die. They rebloom and they'll go right in through the end of October. So I'm excited to share some couple quick clips of I've got a fritillary on the zinnias. I've got monarchs, eastern tiger swallowtails, giant swallowtails. They all love zinnias. So you can just follow me along here and see if we can see any other butterflies today. I think if you're going to have a butterfly garden, it makes tons of sense to have zinnias in your garden. They're a great butterfly attractor. I've got a few black-eyed Susans in my garden. You can see they bloom really nicely, and they've been in bloom for months now, and it will bloom right through the end of the summer. I haven't seen a lot of butterflies around them, but they give you a nice yellow color to your garden. For me, it helps offset all the purples I have in my garden, the black-eyed Susan. On this side of my garden, I've got some hyssop, which is about done blooming. It's attracted some butterflies, but it hasn't flourished like it has in previous years. And then it's getting to be the end of the season for the purple cone flowers. I've got all kinds of purple cone flowers. I've deadheaded them a few times, but their run for the summer is just about done. They've been a great butterfly attractor, but uh, the time has come for them to be done. I love this time of year. The goldenrod is in full bloom. It's spectacular when it blooms this tiny time of year. It gets all kinds of pollinators buzzing around it. Uh, it's coming to the end of the summer. The butterflies that are laying eggs and having caterpillars now, it's going to be either overwintering in their chrysalis, or if it's a monarch, you know, these are the butterflies that'll migrate to Mexico. So getting near the end of the summer, but it's been a great summer. I hope you've enjoyed my video. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out on this Labor Day weekend in Minnesota. Have a great day.